Installing a flow sensor to work with the Rainbird ESP ME3 controller is a straightforward process. Before you begin, be sure to check the list of compatible flow sensors on the Rainbird website. For this project, you'll need the following tools. PVC pipe cutter or hacksaw, pipe wrench or channel locks, tape measure, valve box, primer and PVC cement, pipe fittings, and pipe thread tape. The flow sensor should be installed on the main water line of the irrigation system, upstream from the irrigation valves. This ensures it will measure flow whenever any valve is turned on. Rainbird flow sensors are intended to be installed below grade, in a valve box, but other compatible flow sensors may be installed above ground. Some flow sensors require a certain length of straight pipe both before and after the sensor. A general rule is 10 times the pipe diameter upstream and 5 times the pipe diameter downstream. For a 1 inch flow sensor, this means you need 10 inches of straight pipe upstream and 5 inches of straight pipe downstream. Check the flow sensor's installation instructions to confirm any specific requirements. Start by shutting off the main water supply. For underground installations, carefully expose the main water line and then remove enough soil to install a valve box. Mark the pipe at the minimum straight lengths before and after the sensor. Cut and remove the marked section of the pipe. Wrap Teflon tape around the union threads and hand tighten. Use a pipe wrench or channel locks to tighten an additional half turn. Set the flow sensor into position. Note that some flow sensors may have flow direction arrows. Insert the rubber washer and hand thread the unions together on both sides of the flow sensor. Tighten the unions an additional half turn using a pipe wrench or channel locks. Connect the flow sensor to the irrigation wire using waterproof wire connectors, such as the Rainbird WC Series wire connectors, to protect from moisture. Make sure to note what color wire is used for red, positive, and black, negative, for wiring to the controller later. Over short distances, standard irrigation wire can be used. If the flow sensor is installed more than 500 feet from the controller, next to a commercial building, or in a lightning-prone area, it is recommended to use shielded wire. When connecting the wires to the controller, be sure to connect the positive wire from the flow sensor to the positive terminal of the controller and the negative wire from the flow sensor to the negative terminal of the controller. Turn the main water back on and check for leaks. Install gravel beneath and around the flow sensor and cover with a valve box. Be sure to watch the video on configuring a flow sensor for use with the ESP-ME3 controller.